today we're going to be reacting to Dan Sperry. How's it going everyone? You might have seen the thumbnail and you know this is Dan Sperry. Now Dan Sperry is a very gothic, scary kind of magician in the magic world. He's a creator, I think he started his career with doves and producing doves like a stage manipulation. Then he went more into the creepy kind of stuff that like more mentalism. Uh, I saw him at Blackpool. I wasn't that impressed with him, I must say that's the honest opinion. I didn't enjoy his show as much. I think he was more focused on his character. It's just not my thing. He did say there was a lot of adult humor in that, but it was just not my thing. But let's give it a go. Let's give, let's let's watch and see what he does on Penn & Teller. Uh, obviously, I know this is a TV thing, so he's got to be PG for this. Uh, so let's see how he takes his character and his act in this show. So let's give it a go. I think for people who are not magicians, I know some of you are not magicians and watching, let me know in the comments. Don't don't go into spoilers and don't don't give away methods, but let me know if you understood Penn's code or not. As a magician, obviously I know how it's done. I, I understood his code really well, but I just would like to know how many people who are not magicians who've actually understood what he said. Um, sometimes he doesn't give any codes away but so, Penn's known for giving away these kind of codes. So yeah, Dan Sperry is, I met him at Blackpool, uh, was it, I think it was two years ago that he was lecturing there and he did a show and I think his show for me was very boring and I, it's sad to say that I think he's a wonderful performer and he's, he's really good but that show just I didn't really get it. Uh, and I think I even might have walked away from that show towards the uh, last of it. But uh, I think he's a great personality. He's definitely got a great image and I think something like that would be remembered for a long time. So, if you, you know, as magicians, we always want to try and have this image. It's like, what do people remember you as? If you want them to be scared, make sure in your magic you actually scare them right if you want them to laugh and you're a comedy magician if you're just doing magic tricks without making them laugh you're really not doing your job right or at least what you're going for right so yeah that's the thing with dan sperry he's doing what he's doing right and i think there is a certain type of audience that would like his magic more than others it's not my cup of tea i don't normally like creepy or scary magic tricks although i love horror movies but i think i, I like my magic very beautiful and artistic and that sort of thing but again it's a personal choice well i hope you enjoyed this and you hope you enjoyed the reaction and i'll see you in another video bye everyone